bright and early we're actually running late right now um, I have a doctor's appointment at 850 here in Corona with my primary care doctor and then I have a doctor's appointment at 1030 with my orthopedic to get my stitches out yep those things are coming out today Yay! so we've been up got up at 8 I don't like getting up this early. How about you? I haven't had my coffee. Don't talk to him yet. <laughs> Hello, so we just finished with my first appointment and basically um, they wanted to start me on insulin and I asked if we can wait since I am losing some weight and um, we're getting closer to me having the gastric bypass surgery. So I want to try and stick it out. I don't want to do insulin if I don't have to. So we're going to try that. Um, now we're heading over to my orthopedic doctor so I can get my stitches out. So here we are. Yep. At the second doctor's. And I still haven't gotten my coffee. It's going to feel really nice to get these stitches out of my arm. The one feels a little funky. Kevin said it looked a little red and angry. Ah, dropped my phone. <laughs> Got it. Ooh, we should go to Red Lobster after we're done here. Considering it's right across the street from the hospital here. I say that every time we come. Maybe one of these days you'll surprise me and take me. Maybe. Probably not. So we just got done at the orthopedics. And I got my stitches out. Looking good. And I don't have the big cushy thing on my sling anymore. It's just a regular sling. And I can start unslinging it and letting my arm hang down and swing in circular motions. You can swing now. I can swing. I'm gonna be a swinger. <laughs> and I'm standing outside of the truck because it's hot in there. <laughs> Nonsense. So we're gonna go have some lunch and then come back and pick up my medication. Okay, so we're gonna go grab some Panda which is in that building right over there. And if we just make the turn, then we gotta go up the street way up there and turn around to come down. Where if we can make the U-turn, we could pull into the parking lot over there. Now, Kevin does not think this big truck can make this U-turn. And he may <coughs> have to back up and do, you know, do a second swing, but That'll be I think he can make it. I have faith in you. Ouch. I have faith in you. Uh-huh. Let's see if we... Let's see. All right, here All we right, go. All right, here we go. Whoa! I told you! I told you! You could do it! You did it! You uh, just missed the freaking turn! makes the U-turn and then he misses the turn. We gotta turn in. <coughs> <coughs> Hi, baby. Hey, sweetheart. Since you didn't get coffee, how's your, your soda? Fun. Feeling a little better? Mm-hmm. What'd you get to eat? Kung Pao chicken and... Um, Angus beef. Angus beef or whatever it is. Chow mein and rice. Mm -hmm. I got Angus beef and ruglets and chow mein. Look yummy. Don't worry, I didn't eat yours. 
So we're back over at Kaiser. Kevin's running in to pick up my prescriptions. I have two prescriptions. And I'm going to look up some information on a place we might try and drive up to to see if we can show you guys this place. Um, last time we tried to go there, we couldn't get close to it, but we're not giving up. Okay, so we decided to take another little trip, and uh, there is a very historical building in Norco, which is just a 10 minutes away from where we live. It's called uh, Hotel uh, Norconian. It's on a little lake called Lake Norconian. Um, it seems like a bunch of made-up words. I, I'm not sure if it's a if it's a um, natural lake or if it's man-made. But there's a hotel built on the shores of it in 1929 that is on the um, the National Registry of Historic Places. It's a uh, mission style. Uh, nouveau mission style classic uh, uh, architecture of California it unfortunately is falling to pieces uh, the main building is uh, uninhabitable it's been deemed seismically unsafe unfortunately and the uh, otherwise the, the facilities would be worth millions and millions of dollars apparently there are chandeliers hanging in there that are worth millions of dollars each and they're all just rotting away right now um, one of the reasons why we want to see it besides its historical value is uh, it's supposed to be very haunted back in the uh, 40s it was turned into a, a navy a training facility and um, at one point it had a hospital which housed um, people with uh, tuberculosis and uh, didn't quite have penicillin yet so people were just housed there to die. Apparently uh, the rumors are that uh, a lot of the TB patients drowned themselves in the lake. So there were sightings of a nurse, a woman in white, uh, sailors wandering around and patients in patients gowns uh, uh, wandering around uh, the lake. So we're going to go check that out and see what we can see. Of course, it's going to be daytime. And again, we're not sure how close we're going to get to the facility. Um, there's supposed to be a 20-foot fence around the whole thing. Um, but from what I can see, we might be able to drive close enough to actually see the building itself. So it's a beautiful building. So it's, it's worth the trip just to see it. Okay, so obviously you all know me. I would love to do an investigation here. Um, being that the building is size, seismically size, unsafe, seismically unsafe, um, I don't think we would ever get permission to go inside to do an investigation. Um, I don't know if we could do an investigation around the lake um, without permission, or if we would need to get someone's permission to do that. Um, but just going over there and taking a look um, right now during the day and seeing what we can see, how close we can get to things, and what kind of feelings I get is always an interesting uh, adventure for me. jeez. Oh, are going through. Navy in Norco, going strong since 1941. I get a feeling that we need to turn around. Uh, well, active barrier ahead. We'll go, go up and talk to the guy. People are driving up. Tell us we're not allowed you know, and tell us to turn around. I want to ask, just ask him if we're allowed to drive around the lake. Turn the recorder off though.
So, we didn't quite get arrested, but uh, they had they certainly checked our IDs and everything. We had to pull around. Apparently, there's no way to get near the hotel. camera. <laughs> well, I wasn't going to get in the truck until you started the air conditioner because it's dang hot. This feels really nice. We were working on some vlogging stuff and it was time to leave and go to class. Like a good little girl, I gotta go to class. It's week number six out of 13. That's Guess right. Guess what? You want to know? Do you want me to tell you? I didn't get into any fights with anybody. That's right. I a asked some questions. There was a lot of people asking questions in this class. I asked questions, very appropriate questions. And the teacher was really nice and actually answered my questions. It's because you complained about her. Doesn't work. Probably. So, I feel pretty good. And I believe I am losing weight. Yeah. Hey, everybody. I hope you enjoyed hanging out with us today, going with me to get my stitches out, and our little adventure up to the naval base. By the way, if anybody asks, no one knows where Kevin's at. Shh. So, Give this video a big thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed, hit that little red subscribe button down below and share this video with your family and friends. But if they see Kevin, don't tell. Shh. It's a secret. Bye. Adios.